In this video, you will learn how to navigate the Scanit Dental User Interface. Please remember that while, for the purposes of this video, we will show the scans from the E2 scanner, but that the scans from the E3 scanner will be in color. The main part of the user interface is called the scanning window. It shows the progress of scanning, and it is also the work area where you can adjust the scans. The Order Overview section provides help icons for the current step and guides you through each of the scanning steps. You can navigate between scanning steps by clicking the Next and Back buttons. It is also possible to get to the chosen step or sub-step by clicking on it directly when you are further in the scanning process. Each of the workflow steps contains a number of sub-steps, guiding you through the scanning process, with the current sub-step being highlighted. In our current step, called Upper Jaw, we have two sub-steps, Scan, which is currently highlighted, and Trim, which we will enter after clicking Next. Each specific step in the scanning process has its own set of tools that become available when you enter this step. These tools are displayed at the left bottom part of the user interface window. It is worth mentioning that now there is a new feature called Adaptive Scanning. You may use it when you click the Adaptive Scanning button. You will find more details in our Adaptive Scanning video. All the main workflow steps of the scanning process are displayed in the workflow bar. The length of the bar differs depending on a particular order. Our order has five workflow steps. The names of the order steps are displayed when you hover the mouse cursor over them for more than one second. In our case, these are Scan Upper Preparation, Scan Antagonist, Scan Occlusion, Die 16, and Design Steps. The current step is always highlighted. In the upper right corner, Scanit Dental has a set of viewing tools that are useful during the scanning workflow. Again, the names of the available tools are visible when you hover the mouse cursor over them for more than one second. Some of those tools are called visibility sliders. The one that we can see in our example step hides or shows texture of the scanned model. The settings button, when clicked, opens the settings window where you can change the scanner scanning options. These include scanner settings, where you can modify the scanner settings, General settings, where you can set the height of the die in the bridge, scanning height for a single die, or the arch, and also the number of adaptive scan iterations. Detail levels, where you can choose whether to prioritize the quality or the speed of the scanning process. Advanced settings, which enable additional features if supported. For example, scan texture, multi-die scanning, or skipping optional steps. It is also here where you can find the Auto Start option. That is important for e-scanners. When the option is checked, the device starts scanning automatically when a model is inserted into the scanner. When you click the Send Feedback Report button, you are able to fill in and send an error report or a suggestion to 3Shape Support, should you encounter any problem using the Scanit Dental software. The Cross Section tool enables you to check the 2D cross-section of a model in a plane set by dragging the mouse cursor over it. When you click the Design Mode button, you can switch between the Windowed Mode and Full Screen of the Scanit Dental application. Using the Save and Close button, you can save the current scan for later and close the Scanit Dental application. In this video, you have learned how to navigate the Scanit Dental user interface. We hope this was helpful, and thank you for watching.